Welcome to Hibis News. This is Kangsha Gangapuram, and you are watching National PR News. Toshiba JSW Power Systems Private Limited (TJPL) is a joint venture between Japan's Toshiba Group and India's JSW Group. Announced the appointment of Mr. Takehiko Matsushita as its new managing director, a graduate of Nihon University with a degree of Bachelor's of Engineering in Medical Engineering. Mr. Matsushita joined Toshiba Group in 1994 and largely focused on the thermal power business during the 28 years of his association with the group. His wide-ranging experience and expertise in mechanical system engineering, especially for combined cycle power plants, earned him the position of project manager of the Nishi Nayok project in Japan in 2012, which was adjudged as the world's most efficient combined cycle power plant in 2018. Toshiba Group is committed to sustainable growth and TJPS has the expertise and experience to provide world class maintenance services to thermal power plants in India. With my global experience in thermal power section, I will lead TJPS to contribute to India's increasing energy demand and also keep in mind environmental considerations, said Mr. Takehiko Matsushita. <music> Following its new international routes connecting key Indian cities to Vietnam, Vietjet now reveals a bigger network growth and implementation plans for the Indian market. The new flight services are planned to link Hyderabad to Hanoi, Da Nang and Ho Chi Minh City, three of Vietnam's most well-known business and tourism cities. The new routes are set to operate within the four quarters of 2022. The airlines also plans to open new direct services to other major Indian cities by the year end. The announcement comes on the heels of airlines recent launch of direct routes connecting New Delhi Mumbai to Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City and it's soon to launch routes linking Mumbai and New Delhi with Phuket Islands South Asia's favored beach destination in early September The new direct flights will make it easier and more affordable for Indian visitors to travel not only to Vietnam but also connect to other Southeast Asian destinations of Bali Bangkok Kuala Lumpur and Singapore or further to northeast asian cities of Seoul, Busan, Tokyo, Osaka, Fukuoka, Nayok and Taipei etc. <music> Honorable Vice President of India Sri Venkaiah Naidu has inaugurated new blood transfusion center and a state of art research laboratory two auditoriums and a diagnostic center at the Islamia and Sickle Cell Society TSCS Shivarampalli TSCS president Sri Chandrakant Agarwal has accompanied the chief guest at the program TSCS president has explained Sri Venkaiah Naidu about the situation of the Islamia in India and the need for a bill for prevention of the Islamia Shrimati Ratnavalli Kottapalli vice president TSCS Dr Suman Jain secretary TSCS Sri Alim Bhag joint secretary TSCS Mr Manoj Rup- Pani Treasurer TSCS and Mr Nagesh Rati along with the staff of TSCS received the several re-owned dignitaries and donors during the launch. Taslamia is a genetic incurable blood disorder which is preventable. TSCS is the only organization in the world that is serving more than 3200 patients under one roof. The Islamia warriors are getting the best treatment here. The SCS not only has blood transfusion here, but the doctor thoroughly examine the patients and do all possibilities helps with counseling. Marking a stupendous result in the first session of JEE Mains 2022, 2,157 Taylor students of Akash Plus Byju's, the national leader in test preparatory services from across the country, have aimed an impressive score of 95 percentile and above. Eight remarkable students have become state toppers, making the institute and their states proud by scoring an impressive 99 percentile and above. The results were announced by the National Testing Agency on Monday. This was the first out of the two joint entrance exams for engineering scheduled to be held this year and around 9 lakh students registered for the same across the country. Congratulating all students, Mr. Akash Chaudhary, managing director Akash Baiju said, "We are congratulating all the state toppers and students who have scored exemplary percentiles. Their achievement speaks volume of their hard work and dedication as well as the support of their parents and faculty at Akash Baiju." We wish them all the best with their future endeavors. E-commerce platform Iralum supported by Kerala Startup Mission Kusum has signed an MOU with Kerala Arts and Craft Village here to promote eco-friendly handcraft items and handloom products globally. 
As per the agreement, Ira Loom will be the first marketplace to showcase products of Kovalam based Kerala Arts and Craft Village. Kerala Arts and Craft Village CEO Sri Prasad and Ira Loom founders Harsha Pusatari and Nitin Raj signed the MOU at the function held at the Craft Village. The agreement will enable us to take the handcrafts and handloom products of local artisans to the global stage, Harsha Pusatari said. It will also help as uplift artisans in Kerala by showcasing their potential on an e-commerce platform. We promote only innovative eco-friendly products that can be easily composted, recycled or biodegraded. We aim to become India's first ever and the largest responsible e-commerce platform to represent sustainable brands, she added. Punjab National Bank PNB joins the account aggregator AA ecosystem and went live on the ecosystem as both financial information user FIU and financial information provider FIP. The account aggregator ecosystem which went live on September 2021 has seen active participations from the public and private sector banks in the country. Punjab National Bank is the second public sector bank to go live on the ecosystem acting as FIU and FIP. The account aggregator ecosystem helps the bank to leverage data acquiring digital through customers, providing them with a seamless journey and eliminating the need for physical documentation. FIU can request data from the FIP based on a simple consent given by the customer on their account aggregator handle. The solution implemented by the bank is highly scalable with the capability to process a large number of requests and use a high standard of data encryption for the security. Sterlite Brazil Participacos SA, a subsidiary of Sterlite Power Transmission Limited, a company that develops transmission projects, won Lot 05 and Lot 09 at transmission auction held at B3 in Sao Pulau. Promoted on 30th of the June 2022 by the National Electric Energy Agency ANEEL, a total of 13 lots were auctioned for the construction and maintenance of 5,425 kilometers of transmission lines in Brazil. Located in the state of Bahilia and Serigripe, Lot 05 will focus on developing a 113 kilometers long transmission line and 300 MVA transmission capacity for the stage of Sterlite Power 1 Lot 05 offering wrap, revenue annual permitted of BRL 22 million, which corresponds to a discount of 32.81%, about the maximum amount of BRL 30 million. In addition of Lot 05, Sterlite Power also won Lot 09, which offers a wrap of BRL 88 million with a discount of 32.81% over the maximum wrap of BRL 130 million. Located in these states of Mato Gross and Para, Lot 09 will involve building a 505 km long transmission line and 850 MVA capacity to address the energy demands in the region of Claudia and Nova Progresso. College Deco, India's largest college admission and education service platform, has launched College Deco Assured, an online learning platform offering a series of live interactive courses across multiple streams such as technology and management. The program aims to upskill and enhancing the employability of India's 38.5 MN college students while also helping those with limited access and industry focused curriculum. College Deco Assured is designed to complement India's National Education Policy 2020 and address the current skill gap in the higher education space. A man group report released in the year 2022 highlighted that while nearly 63% of employers expect to increase their staff levels, however, 83% of them feel it will be difficult to fill the open positions owing to a massive talent shortage. Warehouse is a tech-powered construction aggregator platform that felicitates end-to-end construction services, helping its customers build their dream homes. The platforms take care of the legal permissions, architectural structural designs, construction execution, interiors and monitoring services. The startup intends to simplify the construction process by bringing together all entities involved in the home building phase. Warehouse is established on the 4T IDEA, which stands for Transparency, Time Saving, Tracking and Adoption of Technology. Founded in 2017, the foundation behind Warehouse Pioneer Project Framework is to reform the way construction is currently being done. The platform enables customers to build their homes from scratching by connecting them to the best partners in the construction industry. 
By pooling the best partners, they are created the most seamless platform that can assist in the construction of dream homes for its patrons. Under the Industorious team, the company has been able to complete 200 plus projects and has built up rate of 1 million square feet. In recent years, interest in data science and machine learning has increased significantly. The technology industry was the first to adopt these tech-driven approaches and now that they are entered mainstream companies in all industries including financial services are need to understand how they can be best utilized in their data. It is important however to distinguish potential use cases from actual applications. In our experience, data science and machine learning are underutilized in large financial institutes and in delivering tangible results. Here at Capco, we strongly believe that data science adds significant value to financial services across multiple functions and can offer a multitude of benefits. Transaction screening and monitoring is an essential aspect in anti-money laundering practices within banks and financial institutions. It has been estimated that the amount of money laundering globally amounts to more than $3 trillion, much of which is used to fund legal activities. Financial institutes have strong incentives to identify fraud and transactions. Financial crime units in financial institutions often have multiple layers and functions to monitor suspicious activity. Reliance Industries Limited RIL and the Athletics Federation of India AFI announced a long-term partnership to enable the holistic growth of athletics in India. Reliance Foundation has been a dedicated partner to AFI over the years and now the partnership is set to deepen the engagement between the two organizations. The highlights of the partnerships are the partnership aims to discover, nurture and develop Indian athletics from across the country and provide them the world-class facilities, coaching and sports science and medicine support by leveraging the Reliance Foundation ecosystems including the Odisha Reliance Foundation, Athletics High Performance Center and Sir H. N. Reliance Foundation Hospital. In line with the large vision of the organization, this partnership will have a special focus on the girl athletes and aims to bridge the gender divide and enable them to achieve their dreams. As AFI's principals partners, the Reliance brand will appear across the national team jerseys and training kits as key national and international competitions and training camps. Signing off, keep watching Hibis News.